One of the crucial unanswered questions here at the John Edwards trial is what did Elizabeth Edwards know about this affair and when did she know it? Now it's important because the defense claims that John Edwards allowed outsiders money to be used to hide and house his pregnant mistress so that his wife would not find out. But federal prosecutors say he did that so that the voters would not find out and his presidential race would not crumble. That, they say, would be an illegal use of campaign contributions. But how can the jury decide if the nearly $1 million at the center of this case was used to keep Elizabeth in the dark if they never received any testimony about what she knew and when she knew it? Now, the jury did see a 2008 ABC News interview with John Edwards in which he said that he had told Elizabeth all about this short affair he'd had in 2006 and that she had forgiven him. Edwards also claimed there was no possibility that he could have been the father of Hunter's baby. Everyone now knows those two statements were not true. They were lies. The affair went on for years and the baby was indeed Edwards. At trial here, we discovered that the date of conception for this child was between May 25th and May 28th, 2008. Well, where was John Edwards at that time? And more importantly, where was Elizabeth? Did she not know that this affair was continuing? The Daily Beast has discovered that part of John Edwards' Twitter feed from that crucial time still lives on the internet, and the answer lies there. Under the banner, Tomorrow Begins Today, John Edwards posted this Twitter message from the campaign trail. Quote, thrilled to be in Iowa with Elizabeth and the kids, working with Iowans to support our troops and bring them home. Now, if Mr. and Mrs. Edwards were in Iowa together while he was creating a baby with another woman, logic would tell you that the Mrs. had no idea there was an affair going on right under her nose. Why the defense did not present this Twitter feed at trial is unknown.